Hello YouTubes! We are back at At Home and a little bat told me that the bay brought the big stuff out. I heard big uh, gargoyles, big dragons. We're gonna go inside and see. Uh, let's see, they got a whole bunch of more stuff. They had empty shelves last time still, so hopefully they're all stocked up. So let's uh, perpetrate in there and see what they got for us today. All right, here we are. They brought the big dragons back. Check these guys out. They are 99 bucks a piece. They are super cool. Man, let me step back so we can get it all in there. That is awesome. Looks like they got, what, seven of them? Very cool, man, look at that. These, I think they had last year, two to three stack pumpkins. Also $99, they're static, they don't light up, they don't do anything, so that's kind of a drawback. The dragons are awesome. They don't do anything, they're static, but they're very cool. That's just, I mean, that's a pretty good size sculpt for top of a column or for your driveway. And we got some big gargoyles down here. These look a lot like the ones that were at uh, Home Depot last year. What's the price on these big guys? Come here, big guy. He's another $99 gargoyle. Uh, it looks like you could use some cool eyes. I would put something else in there myself. Uh, maybe a cabochon or something cool. It's pretty cool though. Well, let's go see what else they got. A lot of big stuff here. Let's go in the other aisles and see what else they got. Okay, now we're in the fall aisle, which we're going to skip over. But I did see some cool thing here. See the old octopus skeleton. He's $16.99. See, do. And he glows blue. Oh, he's walking. Where's he going? He's stuck. All right, there, buddy. You're free. Go on ahead and do your thing. All right, we saw all this stuff last time. The uh, lights, which these are super cool in a dark room. Let's go find, let's see the Frankenstein lights. They still have all the Jack Skellington pumpkins. We saw that before. Let's skip over all the fall and go right to the new stuff. Oh, look, the flamingo. We got one of these. You just stab it in the ground. Little peace sign skeleton hand for $4.99. Little wagon. Oh, look at this one that's new this year. A little pig on a platter. How much is a little pig on a platter? He's 20 bucks. I don't know if I give that much for him, but it's a plastic platter. But it's double walled, so that's kind of cool. What else we got? We got some medium size Ellis alien skellies. These guys are $24.99. Kind of small, but I mean, they need a paint job. It'd be cool. We got big skellies for 29 bucks. These are the five footers. I don't like these because of this. Their whole rib cage caves in. Save your money, get the Walgreens skeletons. Um, they got a bunch of those for thirty dollars. It's fine if you're not going to have uh, heavy duty usage, but I wouldn't. I would hold out and get the Walgreens ones. Little dachshunds, twelve ninety nine. Little dragons. This guy is way too small for twelve dollars. I mean, look how tiny he is. And they got the uh, groundbreakers, sixteen bucks. Those are kind of new. I think they had these last year. And that's about it for this aisle. Let's uh, jump over to X now and see what else they got. All right, I was going through the end camp. We saw these before, the Cerulean pumpkins. For anybody who's interested, $12.99. Dream Reader, Psychic Sign, $7.99. All right, that was just a little bit on the end cap. We saw those guys last time we were in. The uh, little sheet metal witch tea light holder. Looks like everything's basically the same. The oil slick skulls are $6.99. Real witch lives here with her little monsters. We did see the frog and the snake last time. What else? A couple of candle holders. Did we see the gnome last time? Yeah. Little gnome was $14.99. Snake coming out of the eye socket. That's pretty cool. And that's $20, $19.99. Okay, I think we've basically seen most of this aisle. Uh, candy corn trees. Trick or treats and sweets, little paper mache pumpkins. I guess they don't open, they must just be like you fill a bowl up with them or something like that. Oh, got a glitter bomb candy corn. Hell no to that. All right, looks like they don't have much more on this aisle. So we'll jump over to the other aisle. Oh, I don't think we've seen her last time. She's new. She's uh, $34.99. Yeah, she's a good height. She's probably, yeah, probably two feet tall. Not too bad. Not for me, but at 
the spirits again. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Porky 99, I know we saw that one and we saw the tree. So once you people get out of the next aisle, we'll jump over and see what they got over there. Okay, so we're back at the uh, far end aisle and this is definitely new. It's a wreath with roses. Oh, and the eyeballs glow and change colors. Now that's pretty cool. Little black roses. This guy is $24.99. Pretty cool. We've seen the dragon heads last time. I think they were 15 or 16. 15 bucks, $14.99. I definitely want to get me one of those little dragons. They were $24.99. Uh, I think the same old stuff that we saw last time in the last video. Classic skulls. I do love the pillows. Their pillows are on fire this year. And they've got a big display set up by the register. I want to go check that out too. $14.99 for the glowing skull. I got the red flock ones. These are new. These weren't there last time, but these are super lightweight. For eight dollars, that's a no, man. Seven ninety nine, yeah, that's way too light. The black ones are better. And then our little plague doctor and silver skellies, and then the little busts. Looks like they got the Mister and the Misses. What are these guys? Fifty dollars. Oh my God, I would attempt to make something better than that. And they got my favorite pillows. And it looks like it's basically all the same on this one. So, same stuff as last time. The little steel signs. All right, let's go to the last aisle and see what else they got. All right, so we are back. Basically, the same stuff they had last time. Dragon's Bread Char, those guys were $10. They got the little dachshund again for $26. The little dragons are $20. And these are bigger than the other ones in the other aisle. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, they got the carnivorous plants again for 10 bucks. You've seen most of this stuff in the other video. What they did not have was the big chains. These are cool. This has got a big old monster hook on there. I mean, look at the size of that thing for $4.99. I'm definitely gonna be grabbing some of those. They got uh, plastic barbed wire for $9.99. That's pretty cool. They're doing like a zombie haunt or an APOC theme. We saw the heads last time. They have their full selection of creepy cloth out, but they're pricey. Uh, spider web, this is new, kind of looks a little bit gauzy, like they're looking going after the beef nutting look. So we've seen all this stuff last time. All right, more spider webs, all the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie, and Zero. They've got some clowns in. How much are these guys? The clowns are $50. What does he do? That's it. Come closer. I've got something for you. And it's not a balloon. Well, for 50 bucks, he's got a motor in him, but man, that just still seems steep for a small clown. He's probably only four feet tall. And they got some Reapers and the little mini bat skeletons, plastic. How much are those little pla plastic bat skeleton guys? They are $14.99. What's he do? Nothing. His eyes light up red. That's what he does. All right. We got the big candies, the yard ornaments. All right, let's go check out the big display that's behind the register. Okay, so we're heading up to the big display and at the end cap, I saw something new. Look at these little guys. Little hanging bats for $6.99. How cool are these little guys? Will they open up? Probably not. Uh, you could heat gun them open, but that's pretty cool. That's new for this year. So you can open them up a little bit. You could probably move their arms around with the heat gun. But for $6.99, if you wanted a pre-folded bat, they're here at home for $6.99. And then they have all the little skellies and brides and all the little stuff. All right, now let's go to that big uh, display and see what they got there. Wow, that's a lot, man. Here's the gargoyle again, the $99. They got a twin-headed cobra for $12.99. Looks like both their mount was open. And he's bendable. So there's some kind of wire in there, sort of like Damien's tail. Okay, we got a ton of skeletons. Oh man, look at this little monkey or gargoyle. What the hell is he? He is $16.99 and 
He just glows blue, but man, he is so cool. Check him out. He's like a little gargoyle. I'm so getting one of these, maybe four. There's the pig on the platter, the piranha we have from last year. He glows blue, anglerfish. There's the eel. This thing was $40 at Joanne's last year. He just blinks in blue, if you can see. And he's pretty cool. Got kind of a big mouth on him. This thing would look awesome if you corpsed it. Okay, we got the owl, more dachshunds, some mummy hands. How much are the mummy hands? They're free. Okay, that's two mummy hands. Mummy hands are free. Alien skeleton we saw. Is that guy missing a jaw? Some savage ripped a jaw off the damn anglerfish. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, Halloween animated rat. What does he do? All right, we gotta get all up in the display, people. I'm sorry. Oh, he talks and his eyes blink. Yeah, kind of funny. Let's see what else they got. Oh, here's the zombie hands. Okay, a pair of zombie hands are $9.99. All right, let's walk around, see what else they got. A little birdie in a cage, 15 bucks. Gargoyles on the ends. And they got glowing skeleton hands. Another bird. What's this guy? He's the big, uh, big wolf. Yeah, he's 80 bucks. And he's static. He's pretty big. He's a good size. I like the head on it. It's cool. All right. $2.99 for Spanish moss. Go to Dollar Tree. Get a bag for a dollar. Plastic skull, super lightweight and chintzy. It's just blow molded. All right, folks. It looks like that's about it. We've seen everything they have to offer this week. We will uh, come back in a week and uh, see what else they have if they break out the big stuff. What else they got coming because there's still lots of empty space. So, uh, if you guys want to take a look at my other two videos, I'll link those down below for the first two trips here at home. But uh, we're going to come back in a week and see what else they have. And we're going to be going to Old Time Pottery this week and see what they have because they're putting out Halloween. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If there's something you want to see, hey, uh, freeze frame it, look at the price tag. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.